Well, as you saw by that drone footage, I'm in a pretty spectacular place right now. I am in the Uinta Mountains. I'm on the north side of the Uintas. The Uintas are the highest mountain range in Utah. They go up to 13,000 something feet. Anyway, I'm here in the Uintas to climb, I think, this mountain. It might be this one, but I think it's this one. I have a goal to climb the highest point in each county in Utah. As of now, I'm at 26 of the 29. There are 29 counties in Utah. I've climbed 26 of them. There are three more. That thing, whichever, wherever it is in the background, that thing is one of the ones I haven't done. And so I'm on a three week long trip, give or take. I'm not exactly sure how long it'll be, but I'm on a pretty long trip, uh, basically, across all of Utah. I'm gonna climb those last three mountains. I'm also gonna fish in every county. That's a goal I've had too. So I'm gonna fish in every county in Utah. I've done about half of them, so I'll finish the other half. And so this trip will basically be a tour of Utah. I'm gonna go all over Utah. Uh, I'm gonna go to all five Utah national parks. And uh, it's just gonna be an awesome trip. So I'll be spending time in the mountains like I am now. I'll be spending time in the desert, in the Red Rock Desert later on in this trip. I'm really excited. I love Utah. Uh, I don't live in Utah anymore. I did for several years off and on. I live in Idaho now, but uh, Utah is just a gorgeous place and I'll be coming back here for the rest of my life. So looking forward to this trip. This campsite is at about 9,000 feet. It's a pretty high campsite. This is, I mean, again, this mountain range is the highest in Utah. The trailhead tomorrow is at 10,000 feet. I think the mountain has, is like 12,000 something. So uh, it's a pretty high mountain. Hopefully the weather is good tomorrow and hopefully it's not too frigid tonight, but I guess we'll see. I'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early. Good morning. It's eight o'clock, slept pretty well. I actually slept longer than I kind of wanted to. I wanted to get started a little bit earlier than this, but I think it's okay. I think we'll be fine. I'm having some breakfast now. This is one of my favorite camping breakfasts. Got some granola and uh, some yogurt. And so I just add a little handful of granola to the cup and then keep doing that. It's easy, it's healthy, it's fast, relatively cheap. Bon appetit. We've got a nice lake here. This is Spirit Lake. So I've parked at a trailhead, kind of in a campground by the lake, uh, but I'm not taking that trail. That trail goes to some lakes. Uh, there is no trail going up this mountain, and so I'm just walking through the campground to get to a spot to where I can start hiking up the ridge of this mountain. And I guess here, up this kind of rocky slope, is where I'm gonna start going up. All right, it's been an hour. Not too terribly exciting for most of it. Just going uphill through a forest, but I'm above tree line now. The views have opened up and it's pretty awesome. These are just large mountains here. And uh, this is the one that I'm heading up, this big old thing right here. But first I have to go up this one and then down, lose some precious elevation, and then climb back up. So from here on out, it's just, Bunch of rock slogging, rock hopping, boulder hopping, this kind of thing. Okay, we are on top of that first little bump. Here's the summit cairn, I guess. This is where we're headed. Need to drop down, then go back up. And then to the west over here, we have uh, some of the higher peaks of the Uintas. I believe some of those are 13,000 feet. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. Perfect weather up here. 
it's relatively warm. It's just a pleasure to be in the mountains on a day like this. Yes, <laughs> we did it. Made it up on top of here. This is Utah County High Point number 27? I think number 27 out of 29 for me. I've got two left. Feels good. Feels good to be on the tail end of this journey here, guys. This mountain is called Eccentric Benchmark. It took me two hours, 24 minutes to get up here. Feels good, feels really good. I signed the summit register and I'm just basking in the glory of this place. It's a weird mountain top, it's just, it's very flat. I mean, you can see it's just flat and open and this feels like being in, in a big field, but at 12,000 feet. And I've got a better look now at uh, at some of the higher peaks in the range. I know that this one, this pointy little one, is a 13,000 foot peak. And King's Peak, the highest in Utah, I think it might be that one. It's kind of just a, a bump along the ridge. It's not a super impressive mountain. It's just the highest point on, on this long ridge. I've actually traversed this entire ridge before. It took me a day and uh, one of the craziest days I've had in the mountains. I got hailed on and then ended up having to camp at like 12,000 feet or 13,000 feet. And then my tent got blown down in the wind and broken and so I had to hike out at like 3 in the morning and just a pretty epic adventure. This is in a wilderness area, I believe, and so uh, you can't fly drones here, among other things that you can't do, and so I didn't bring the drone and so there's no cool uh, aerial drone footage of the summit here, which is a bummer, but that's okay. Gonna have a little snack while I'm up here. Summit pizza is the best pizza. Mmm. I'm gonna take a few pictures up here to commemorate the occasion, and then I'll head back down. And uh, it'll probably take hour 45 minutes, something like that, a couple hours to get down. And I'll see you guys once I get back down to the car. I'm not entirely sure yet what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I'll think about it as I hike down and, and let you know once I figure it out. So a fair amount of that desert driving was in Wyoming. I had to go back into Wyoming, then I looped back down into Utah. I am now firmly in Utah and will be for most of the remainder of this trip. And um, I'm passing by Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area, or through Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area. Never been here before, uh, but I wanted to stop here because I have a view of the reservoir of Flaming Gorge Reservoir. It's really pretty, so I wanted to show it to you guys. So here is the reservoir, or at least one end of it. It's a very large reservoir in both Wyoming and Utah. And then here, some interesting, uh, interesting sandstone rock formations. And down here we've got some jagged mountains. It's just a pretty place. You can boat there, you can fish and swim and all that stuff. Uh, I won't be doing any of that. I'm just driving past it, just driving on through. But still, it's fun to look at. All right, let's get back on the road. I think we're about an hour from a campsite, hour and a half, something like that. Further east we go. Whoa, had to break pretty quick here. There's a herd of bighorn sheep in the road.
Well, this is a pretty crazy place to camp, isn't it? This view is just, it's awesome. <laughs> Here's looking down into where I'll be going tomorrow, down this way. Beautiful place. And then of course I have this giant, <laughs> I don't know what this is. I think these are like phone signal reflector things. Is that right? I don't know. I'm camped right next to it. Hopefully my brain doesn't get fried tonight. It's been a long day, been a crazy day. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what your favorite part was. And be sure to tune in for tomorrow's video, for the next video, because that place is going to be pretty awesome. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.